There's our blink. And we get the email. Oh boy, we got mail. Let's go see what we got today. An apple, yes! I'm so glad I joined the Fruit of the Month Club. Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Think, Learn, Do. For this episode, the idea I came up with is I want to be able to detect when my mail's here. Go get it. Um, the way I'm going to do this is I think we can reuse my circuit I, I created for my garage door open detector. Uh, my, my latest version where I have actually the, the little microcontroller monitoring my tilt switch. And I can wake up the Node MCU to, to let me know that some, the state's changed on that tilt switch. So the nice thing about this is uh, before where I was pulling every minute with the Node MCU to check this the, switch, the state on my, my tilt switch is if this switch changes state quickly, like in between the minute that it's awake, I'm not going to see that state change. The beauty of this circuit is, with the Holtec constantly monitoring this state, uh, if my mail line comes really fast and he's really quick at opening and closing this door, the Holtec's still going to pick that up and I'm still going to get notified that the state changed and that the mail will probably come. So for a quick refresher on how this switch is all set up, I've got my Holtec uh, microcontroller here that pulls really low amperage. It's powered by a by my voltage regulator here, which is also a really low amperage voltage regulator. And then I have my tilt switch, and it's connected to the Holtec. It's also connected to the Node MCU. Now the the Holtec is constantly running, and it's going to check this state when the state changes. And because it's input pull up, I can have one leg going to my GPIO. Here they go into ground. If that state changes, if the ball goes down and goes up, whatever, it's going to change the state. The Holtec is going to actually use another GPIO to uh, turn on this voltage regulator. This voltage regulator powers my Node MCU here. Um, and once it does that, the Node MCU can actually wake up, and it's also connected to this this tilt switch with an input pull up, so it can it can read the state as well, and then send a wireless. Can, uh, wireless signal to to my server, which is probably just going to be running my usual Node.js, and then that can send me an email letting me know that something's changed. In this case, that mailbox door is open and closed, and the, the mail's probably come. Then once it does all that, it, it can uh, signal the Holtec, let me know that it's ready to be turned off. And the Holtec can bring this pin low, turn this Node MCU off, and we just go back to deep sleep. Uh, the Node MCU will be off. This will just go back to checking everything, but since it's such low current, I think we measured it was like 0.18 milliamps. It should have no problem just sleeping and checking and waiting for this to change again. So then the hardest part about this little project I'm working on here is going to be taking my handy dandy tilt switch and finding out where I'm going to put this so I can detect that this state change. One thought I had was I can actually kind of hide it under the slip here. Um, and that way it's not too obvious that it's sitting there. I don't know if it really matters if people see it or not, but it's kind of ugly and weird if it's kind of sticking on the outside. So I was hoping I can hide it here on the inside. And then when it's open, I'm just going to have to have it angled right so that it's, it's reading that it's that it's open, and then when we bring it up, it goes back to closed. So something like that. Let's try it out. I think I'm just going to try and hot glue it for now. So my mailbox sits on this stand. Pretty standard little mailbox stand thingamabobber, right? And here's my, my mailbox, my physical mailbox. And then there's this hollow uh, vinyl post back here. And this this actually goes through it, so there's kind of like a shelf, little handy dandy little shelf right here. So I can just run my wires back and into here and set my Node MCU and battery in here, out of sight, out of mind. So I think that'll work.
Let's do a quick test here to see if this is working like I expected. I've got my multimeter hooked up here. Um, see my leads down here. I'm going to set this over to resistance. Now, showing very low resistance here, which, which makes sense because my tube is sitting straight up, so the ball should be at the bottom, allowing the connection. So then, theoretically, once we open this, it looks like we've got huge resistance, so that looks like that's working like I expect. The ball should have rolled away from those contacts, and we should take the, 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 door, the doors open and the mail's here. That looks like that's going to work. Let's try it out. So this is just set up like I showed before. Uh, I had it all kind of hooked up from my last experiments. You've got our whole take here with and this is breaking out our pins t that are going to connect to our tilt switch on the mailbox. And then it's got the voltage regulator for the whole take here. And then a uh, voltage regulator for the node MCUs here with the enable pin. It's currently hooked in to this, this brown wire here. And then we have the node MCU. So let's hook it up and try it out. Things are hooked up. Now we should be able to open this and have things happen. One thing you're going to notice is to be able to see this is working is our node MCU light here is going to blink, showing that it's turning on. And then I'll get the email, but we won't see that. Right, let's try it out. There's our blink. And we get the email. Oh boy, we got mail. Let's go see what we got today. An apple, yes! I'm so glad I joined the Fruit of the Month Club. So it was pretty convenient that I already had this circuit board laid out for something like this. Um, I'm imagining a lot of, of my future projects are gonna be reusing this circuit board. Uh, it's handy that I don't have to pull every minute. Uh, I can change, I can detect that change almost instantly. There is a bit of a debounce in here on the on the whole tech. So I'm hopeful that, I, th I think it's around a two second debounce. So if, if the switch changes state within two seconds, it'll, it'll clear it out and start over again. So I'm hopeful that it won't be a problem, that the mailman won't be too fast and I won't detect it. But I guess if that, I guess if that does turn into be a problem, I can I can lower that debounce amount to, to a smaller amount, maybe like a second or something. Now what I finally, what I ended up with on the bottom here, this is going to look so beautiful. If you can see that switch sitting right there, so I have the leads coming out the bottom and then I just glued it on there, hot glued it on there. That seems to work pretty well. Now I'm not sure what the melon I think you can kind of see the wire sticking out, but it is on the bottom so maybe he won't care. If it is a problem, I can always come up with a better solution. So that was a fun project. I'm excited to try this out uh, in real life and be able to get notifications when the mail's here. So thanks for watching.